All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. Welcome to another live broadcast. All right, so we're live on Facebook now on YouTube. So if you've got any questions or queries or concerns, then just, you know, text them into the comments there and I'll try and answer them. So what am I dealing with today? What am I going to discuss? Well, I'm going to discuss, right, what is. Now, what is what, right? So many people ask me, what's a cesspool? What's a septic tank? What's a sewage treatment plant? What's a soak away? So today, I'm going to answer those questions. So the first one I'm going to deal with is what is a cesspool? All right, so if I just write cesspool here, then hopefully I can answer your question there. So okay, so what is a cesspool? That's a very good question, okay? So... Obviously, this is pertaining to houses or properties that aren't connected or business units that aren't connected to the main sewers, all right? But um, let's get straight into this, right? So if you imagine here, that's your grass. How's that for a bit of uh, drawing skills, eh? So that's your grass, right? So a cesspool is basically a sealed unit, right? So, if I just draw a box under here, now, I'm not the best artist, and I'll try my best to get this straight, but, all right, so it's something like that. So, a cesspool will have an inlet, like so, and um, a cesspool is, oh God, it looks really skew-iffy there on the, it's really wonky, but, I'm sorry about that, but, uh, there we go. How about that? Is that a bit better? Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. All right, so a cesspool. Okay, so what is a cesspool? A cesspool is basically a sealed unit, right? And so what that means is, so you can get sewage water, wastewater, all kinds of water, wherever it's coming from. It could be dog waste, it could be human waste, it could be any kind of waste, right? And it goes into there and it will fill up to a certain level. But once it's full, it's full. Uh, I know that may sound pretty obvious, but the point is it can't, it can't um, go anywhere. What do I mean by it can't go anywhere? Well, it can't leak out. This is a sealed unit, right? And all it can do is back up. So once it's full, it can't, it's got nowhere else to go. I suppose it can rise up to the top here. So if I put a lid here, I put a little lid on that. So the water can rise, but with a cesspool, they're a sealed container, so they're deemed as quite safe. Because once they're full up, you've got to stop putting any more liquid into it because you can't, because it's full. And then you get the septic tank emptying man out or some kind of waste carrier. They'll come and they will suck the liquid out of the tank and then the process will start all over again. Now, cesspools are a thing of the past, and whilst they have their place, um, they're good in certain scenarios, you know, for holding on to toxic waste and stuff, so they're not, they're a lot less of a pollution risk because um, it's contained. In modern living, cesspools, you don't normally see them in properties now, because you imagine connected to this cesspool was, um, uh, a three, four, five, six, seven bedroomed house. Now, with the amount of liquid that those people are producing every day, it's going to take about 24 hours for it to fill up before you've got to get it emptied again, right? So, and what that means is if you imagine it's going to cost you £200 a time to get this cesspool emptied every day, every two days, I mean, you're going to be paying out £1,000 a week just to get your cesspool emptied. So, Whilst they're good in certain instances, as I said, so if you're if, if you're dog kennels or something like that, or you are on an, allot on an allotment and you haven't got the space to kind of put a soak away in, and there's only one person flushing one loo, then it's going to take a lot longer for that to fill up. Maybe, depending on the size of the cesspool, it'll take a month to fill up. So 200 quid a month is better than not having any toilet facilities at all. So that's what a cesspool is. It's, it's only got an inlet and it's a sealed unit. So, next one then. All right, so that's what is a cesspool. 
so the next one I'm going to answer is what is a septic tank? So what's a septic tank? That's a good question. Okay, lots of people ask me what a septic tank is. Well, a septic tank differs in this way. You not only have got an inlet, but you've also got an outlet, right? So you've got an inlet and you've got an outlet. And what that means is this. So all the wastewater will come into the septic tank. The septic tank level will reach the height of the outlet pipe and from there the liquid will then make its way down through the outlet pipe into a soak away. So in this instance I'm just going to do a little pit like that, okay? So I'll talk a bit more about soak aways in a minute, but a soak away, how much room have I got on the end there? All right, so let's just do this. So that's, that's it, continuation of the grass. Let me just put that line down there. All right, so a soak away is just basically um, a hole in the ground or some kind of product in which the liquid from the septic tank can go into and then it'll just soak away into the soil. So that's what a soak away is. But just coming back to the septic tank for a moment. So the septic tank is different than a cesspool because it's got a, an outlet as well as an inlet. All right, so... Now, next question, what is a sewage treatment plant? All right, <laughs> I suppose all this can get quite confusing, but I'm gonna try and keep it really, really simple. So what is a sewage treatment plant? Now, a sewage treatment plant, if you go to the edge of a city or a town or whatever, you'll see these massive circular concrete rings with like rods on that go around and it stinks when you go past. That's a massive sewage treatment plant, right? But a domestic one for me and for you living at home, this is what I'm talking about here. So what is a domestic treatment plant? All right, well, with a cesspool and a septic tank, in here, all this is raw sewage, right? So if I put that, that equals raw sewage. All right, so you've got raw sewage going in, and you've got raw sewage going into your soak away, and you've got raw sewage going into the soil. As it travels through the soil, that um, sewage is treated. Now, with a treatment plant, right, with a treatment plant, this is what the difference is. It still ex looks exactly the same as a septic tank, but, but, right, it's got electrics to it, right? So it's got power. So if I put here, a power supply. Thank you for your comment, by the way. Thank you, much appreciated. Power supply, all right? So if I put a power supply, so you've got wires, right? So you'll have a, a you'll have wires, right? Coming from some house, let's go into a little blower or, or a little electric box. Let's just keep this really simple. So this is a blower, right? And inside you'll have like a hive. They call this like a hive. And you'll have some pipes coming up, like so. They'll probably look a bit neater than this. But the point is, you'll have some electricity going to this hive, and it produces lots of bubbles, right? And what it does in here, you've got two compartments. You'll have one compartment here, and another compartment here. So all the poo and the fat and the grease and the sludge will go into this compartment. Right, you'll get a secondary compartment where there's not as much poo and fat and grease in there. But the point is, it works like an aquarium. You know, like an aquarium, right? See all those bubbles and stuff bubbling around and it oxygenates the water. Same happens here. This blower is like a big aquarium, so it oxygenates all the water in there and cleans it. So you've got raw sewage going out, in, but you've got, uh, you've got clean water going out, all right? So that's the difference between a sewage treatment plant and a septic tank. Now, as you can see, right, there's a lot more moving parts here. You've got compressors, you've got motors, you've got cogs, you've got bearings, you've got pulleys, you've got shafts, you've got loads and loads of things to go wrong. And what's nuts about this, right, what I find is nuts about this, right, is the fact that electric and water just don't mix. Com motors and compressors and bearings, they just don't mix in water. So typically a sewage treatment plant will only have a lifespan, mm, something like, I don't know, 
Oh man, they only come with a 12 months warranty, right? So I don't want to demonize a sewage treatment plant, but they only come with a 12 months warranty. So that tells you something, right? And unless you get them serviced every year by an approved uh, a contractor, then the, the um, a warranty is null and void. But anyway, listen, I detract. So that's what a sewage treatment plant is. All right, so now let me just show you one more thing here. Right, so let's just wipe all that out. So one more thing to show you. So what is a soak away? So what's a soak away? All right, well, I've explained what a septic tank and a cesspool and a sewage treatment plant is, right? Now, if I just do it here, so this pipe coming in from here, that is from, if I put, look, from the septic tank. Let's just keep it really simple, right? From the septic tank, okay? So a soak away, uh, let's just put some water coming down this pipe as well. Well, a soak away does exactly what it says on the tin. It's known as, it can either be known as a soak away, a drainage field, a leach field, whatever, right? And so there's different types of soak away. Right, so up until about the 1960s, everything was just a pit in the ground, right? And this pit would contain bricks, it would contain bicycles, it would contain builder's rubbish, it would contain all kinds of stuff. But the point is, the water would come in from the septic tank, it could be filled with gravel or shingle as well. It would come in and it'd fill up to here, right? And this pit would be filled with loads and loads of gravel like that. The water would sink, you know, into the gravel. And as I said, it would basically then just soak away into the soil. Now, a soak away, the size of the soak away will depend on the number of people using the septic tank. So, you know, obviously the soak away is going to be smaller if you've got two people using it. If you've got 10 people going into it, then obviously it's going to be a lot bigger. And also the size of the soak away will depend on what the soil conditions are around it. So, for example, if you live on an area where there's chalk or sand, then the water's gonna come straight in and soak straight away again. Sand and chalk are the best soak away mediums you can get. If it's surrounded by clay, then the soak away has to be a lot bigger. And for that reason, that's why they make, I'm gonna show you a different type of soak away design now, right? Now this is called a herringbone system, what I'm about to show you. And basically a herringbone system looks like a fishbone, right? It's called a herringbone because that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a big, big fishbone. So a herringbone system, if I just show you, right, if we look at it side on, look at it side on, a herringbone system consists of lots of pipes with holes in, perforated pipe. And that's coming, the septic tank, the water from the septic tank, it, there's no pit as such. The water just comes from the septic tank into here and goes into the herringbone pipe. And then from there, it soaks into the soil. Now, if I was looking down as an aerial view, if you, okay, so that's side on. If we're looking down now, right, like a, I don't know, 30,000 foot view, from the top, it would look something like this. Okay. So you can see why they call it a fishbone now, can't you? So that's looking down. And so the water makes its way. So from here, that comes from the septic tank there. And so the water travels along here, travels along through the perforated pipe there. And then it makes its way out through the branches here into the soil and then just drains away into the soil. And below this, right below this, so if you imagine this is a side view below this, there will be a bed of shingle on which the soak away pipes sit on. So the water comes out of the pipe, it's got no resistance, the soil is about here or clay or whatever you've got. So it can actually, you know, leave the pipe, soak into the gravel bed and then soak into the soil. So soak away herringbone system is a lot bigger than a soak away pit. I mean, you can get herringbone systems that cover the size of a flipping football field. It's nuts, I know, but nevertheless, so that's what a soak away is, okay? And so one last soak away I'm gonna show you. Now this is, um, oh, I'm running out. I'm running, hold on, excuse me a sec. 
<laughs> Do you know what? The best thing I found for rubbing the uh, pen off a whiteboard is kitchen roll. I've used all kinds of kitchen, of ribbon, you know, board rubbers and stuff like that. But kitchen roll, if you've got a whiteboard and you want to get rid of the pen off the board, kitchen roll is the best thing to use. All right, so one last thing I want to show you, which is very, very popular. For me, this is the best type of soak away product. All right, let me show you. This. They're called septic tank soak away crates. Septic tank soak away crates. Let me show you this, right? So again, that's your pipe coming in to your soak away, right? So you've got your water coming in here, okay, from, from your septic tank. Now a soak away crate looks like a milk crate, all right? So if I just show you here, it looks something like that, all right? And they call them septic tank soak away crates. And what happens is this, if you imagine this is a hole, right? This is, well, it is a hole, but the point is, if you fill that with grout, at the moment, as it stands, that's 100% cavity as it stands, all right? And what's interesting is, if you fill that cavity up with gravel, right, instead of having 100% cavity, it would, so you imagine you fill that whole, ha whole hole up with gravel or sand or bricks or rubble or whatever, suddenly it's not 100% cavity anymore. You actually, because you you've just filled the hole back in, you go from 100% cavity or space to literally, about 15% cavity because you've just filled the hole back in. So why am I telling you this? Because septic tank crates go into the pit. So let's say that's your pit here. This is how they would look, right, from the side on. All right, so the septic tank crates go into the pit. And because they're hollow, they've been designed by a German scientists, are very, very clever, right? Because they're hollow, the water can still enter the soak away pit, but it fills each of the crates up. So you retain 95% of your original cavity, right? But <laughs> the soak aways are created in such a way that they allow the liquid to just soak away into the soil. So personally, right, these are my favorite form of soak away. They're, they're I suppose, the latest technology. They're designed in the space age, during the space race, and they're just fantastic. They take about like 40 minutes or an hour to put in. But uh, yeah, septic tank, soak away, if I put crates there, there you go. So those are basically the different types of sewage systems you can get. You can get a cesspool, remember, it's a sealed unit. You can get a soak away which has got an inlet and an outlet pipe. We've got a sewage treatment plant that turns all your horrible, stinky sewage into clean water. You've got soak away pits. You've got soak away pipes. You've got um, herringbone systems and you've got soak away crates. So there you go. So that is basically the whole spectrum of off mains sewage systems, how they work and the different products you can use to um, Oh, man alive, all right, where's it all going? Sorry about this, oh man alive. <laughs> My uh, board rubbers keep disappearing. So there you go, so I hope that's, hope that's helped you today to understand a bit more about the world of septic tanks and the world that I live in and deal in. If you wanna see more of me <laughs> and loads and loads of free videos, right, and get loads of free advice, then just go onto Google, right, and type in septic tank TV, All right, Septic Tank TV, just go onto Google, type that in, and you'll see more of me, but more importantly, you'll see more free videos like this. Or, if you wanna see some of the Septic Tank soak away crates, right, then all you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk. There you go. And give us a ring if you've got any questions or queries or want any help to any problems you get, just go there and give me a ring, and I love helping people for free, doesn't cost you a penny. There's no catch, there's no con. I just love helping people find simple and cost-effective solutions to their septic tank problems. So listen, thank you very much for watching my live broadcast today. Hope you have a great day and uh, I'll speak to you soon.